All right, so today I'm going to give you a free alternative to QuickBooks. A lot of you guys that are starting a company maybe don't want to pay for a software right now. So I'm going to show you exactly what I've been using since 2019 with my company. Okay, so I'll show you here waveapps.com. It's Wave Financial if you guys want to know the company name. But you go to waveapps.com and I'll show you here on the pricing. You can use the free plan and you can take advantage of a lot of important things that you're going to need for your company up front. OK, like creating estimates, billing your customers, creating invoices, everything like that. You can do completely free on here without having to pay a single dime. OK, if you want to upgrade, you can, but you can take advantage of paying nothing. OK, when you go over to QuickBooks, you'll see here that they have plans, but they're not free. OK, so if you guys, again, want to take advantage of a free software, waveapps.com. Um, it's a very, very powerful software that you guys can take advantage today. All right. So I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. I'm not going to go too in depth, but I'm going to show you um, just how to get started. So once you sign up on the free plan, you're going to get prompted here to fill out this information. I'm just going to put in just basic stuff just so that I can get through this part. Um, Dummy testy, <laughs> dummy test. Uh, I'm again just doing random stuff so I can get through this portion. If you guys are selecting your LLC or if you're a corporation or whatever your entity is, um, this is where you guys want to make sure you select the right thing. Um, for most people, it's going to be an LLC, and if you're by yourself, then obviously you're single member LLC. You'll continue on once you get to this page. Um, it's going to ask you when you started your company. We'll say we started it this year and how many customers do you expect to have? Um, do you accept payments online? If you have an online store, you guys can choose this option. If not, then you can just carry on. So we'll select send good looking invoices. Obviously, none of the, you can customize all this later on. You don't have to do anything um, permanent um, and we can just continue with the free plan on here. You do want to put a phone number. Once you get past the phone number section, you'll see your company name up on the top right here, and then you'll see everything down the line on the left. OK, so if you guys want to create estimates, invoices, if you guys want to set up any kind of products, this is where you want to do it. All right. Go over to sales and payments. Then you're going to go down to payments and setup. I'm not going to link my bank account because I don't want to mixing up my funds. So you just hit on payments and setup, hit continue, and it'll bring you here, fill out all this information that they want and link your bank account. This is the only way you're going to receive payment in your bank account. If you don't do this, it's not going to be good. It's not going to work. All right. So make sure you do this. This is the first thing you want to do. All right. So just to show you an example of how to create an invoice or an estimate very quick, you just go to products here, add a new product up on the top, and let's just say... All right, my company is automatically filling things in. So let's say string lights for the tents. So we got tent string lights. You can put a description in there. Um, I'll put color lights. All right, the pricing, I want them to be $45. All right, and if you want to sell this or if you want to buy this, you can select that here. And you can also select what kind of taxes you want to collect on this specific item. Um, we'll just say we're going to sell this. And it's going to go towards sales because that's your income account is sales. You're selling it. All right. And then hit save. So now you have created your product. This says it up here successfully created. All right. You're going to have to have some kind of product or service for you to be able to create your estimates. Okay. Or you can go ahead and make estimates along the way. Uh, you can also generate different items without having it on there, but it's going to save you more time if you do it that way. Anyways, you can customize your own estimate. So you see, I haven't done anything on here. It's just a blank template. Um, you can look up pictures or your company logo upload it there. You can create the accent. So let's, let's put the accent to red and you see it actually reflects on here. Um, and you can customize this any way you want. Yes. Down here, you're going to have powered by wave, but I honestly prefer it having that down there because it creates credibility with the customer. It's not just some random application sending you something in the email. I want them to know that it's coming from an actual company. Um, 
So I don't really mind for it having the watermark down at the bottom. All right, so you can choose contemporary, modern, classic. Right now it's on contemporary. We'll leave that how it is and then we'll hit let's go. And here's your estimate, okay? Obviously, if you wanna add a customer, you can do it over here under customers and then you can pull it up where we are in the estimates. But for now, we'll just create the customer along the way. All right. So we'll put dummy customer. <laughs> Sorry, customer. All right. So dummy customer, you can fill out their address and everything like that. Once you do their address, email and everything, it'll populate right here and it'll, it'll show you on the estimate what it looks like. It looks professional. Um, you can select how you want your estimate number. So if you want to start off in the 200s and then from there on, it'll continue to 201, 202, et cetera. All right. Um, you can select the date when this will expire. So within 30 days, we'll leave that how it is. And then we scroll down here, you'll see items. All right. So add items and there's our tent light accessory. Um, so we'll select that and you see the total here. We don't, we didn't put any taxes on their, under the product, but you can also do it here. Okay. You can create a new tax, uh, implication if you want to, depending on how your state is. Uh, let's go ahead and do that very quick. Tax. If you have a tax ID number or a num uh, one of your tax numbers that you want to put, this is where you want to put it and they'll link up with your taxes. It makes it a lot easier when you go to do your taxes. Um, the tax rate, we'll put it at 6% and we'll hit save. Now you'll be able to see that tax, um, implication that you put here. So you can select 6% and you see it charges two point two dollars and 70 cents right here. And it brings the total to $47 and 70 cents. Okay. Once you have it like this, you guys can either put a footnote down here. It's completely up to you. You can say, um, delivery on Monday. All right. You can put whatever you want. You can even put an image down here. Okay. So obviously that's going to have to be upgraded to be able to do more stuff like that, but you don't really need any of that. Okay. So we'll hit save down here and you'll see, it's going to give you a pretty much dummy look. It's going to give you uh, an idea of what it's going to look like. So it says estimate and you could change the name on here to anything you want. And you see, it says dummy test. Um, that's the company name, obviously dummy customer. You have the tent light accessory, you have the taxes, everything shows up and it says down here, delivery on Monday. All right. So once you have all that, you can approve the draft. And when you approve the draft, that means that you're okay with the estimate, how it looks. All right. And if you want to send this out to your customer, this is where you do that. So you can send the estimate to the customer by clicking there. Um, and you can also let me see if you want them to get a link or a PDF, it depends on how you want to do, but you don't have to do any of that. Just put mark estimate sent. All right. And it's sent over to the customer. Now, when the customer goes in their email, they're going to see the estimate and they can say, Oh, Hey, I'm good to go. I want to go ahead and convert it into an invoice so I can make the payment. All right. That's where you go back to your software, convert back into an invoice. And then it's going to want you to confirm that that's what you want to do. Be careful because if you confirm it, that you want it to be an invoice, it will permanently be in your data sheet. Okay. So if I put $47 on here and 70 cents, that is going to show up in your final reports. And there's no way to take it off. You can erase the estimate, but the number will always be in your reports whenever you pull it. So be very careful not to do that because you will mess up all of your numbers. Okay. All right. So hit save because you're okay with it and that's it. Now it's an invoice. Now they can let me see here. We'll approve the draft and you can turn on payments. So when you turn on the payments, they'll be able to pay and everything like that. It sounds like a lot, but it's very simple. All right. If you guys have any questions or you found any value in this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you have any questions, I'm not an expert, but I've been using this since 2019 and it's worked just fine for me. All right. I appreciate you watching. See you next time.